Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review the Spongebob episode Rise and Shine, requested by Ironclad Charger 66. Rise and Shine is about when, first of all, it's only a four minute episode. So it's one of those episodes where it's very short, nothing much goes on in the four minute episode. But all I could say is that it just tells you Patrick's morning routine. I loved it. This is an awesome episode. I loved it. Even though it's just a four minute episode, I just thought everything the writers tried to do in four minutes was really impressive. I was laughing for the whole four minute timing. Patrick's morning routine is just hilarious. Patrick is just stupid. But, but that's what makes Patrick, right? And it was just a great Patrick episode. Nice cameo from Spongebob. You only get a brief quick cameo from Spongebob in the beginning of the episode and the ending of the episode. So it's nice to see Patrick be a main star of this episode with barely any Spongebob in this episode. But I just thought it was very funny. I thought it was handled well. It had really good pacing for an episode that's four minutes long. I just love Rise and Shine. Very awesome Spongebob episode. There's really not much to say about this episode since it is four minutes long, but all I could say is that I loved it. It's executed well. Very funny. I'm gonna give the four minute amazing episode Rise and Shine a 10 out of 10. Waiting is once again requested by Ironclad Charger 66. This episode is about when SpongeBob, well, he's waiting for his toy from a cereal box to come to the mail. It's another simple episode, just like Rise and Shine. And waiting? All right. When you hear an episode where SpongeBob is just waiting and waiting and waiting, you would think it's boring, right? It's simple, but boring. Actually, it wasn't boring. It was actually really enjoyable. And just like Rise and Shine, it's short, except just a couple of minutes longer than Rise and Shine. Overall, I really enjoyed waiting. It's not as good as Rise and Shine in my opinion, but I just think it's a really good episode. It makes me laugh a lot. And it just really entertains me. Patrick was very funny here. He was dumb. There were a couple of times where Patrick made me go, ow, wait, just because of how dumb he was. I just thought it was executed very well. I really enjoyed it. The fact that they were both waiting for a toy was very funny. And then when they finally arrived their toy and then a certain situation happens, that was actually pretty hilarious. And they actually freaked out about it. It was just so stupid, but it was hilarious. It cracked me up and I just was highly entertained by this episode. And the ending was funny as well. So it's a cute episode. It's really enjoyable. I really like it. My only problem with this episode is just how Spongebob treated Gary and how Spongebob treated Sandy. So those that's really the only thing that bugged me about this episode. I just didn't like how Spongebob acted towards them, especially since he's the nicest sponge around. I'm gonna give Waiting a 9 out of 10. Really good, really impressed by it. Fungus Among Us is 
for the third time, requested by Ironclad Charger 66. Fungus Among Us is about when SpongeBob starts to get this contagious little disease called the fungus, and um, it just spreads around when he's working at the Krusty Krab, and uh, certain things happen. I don't want to spoil what happens in this episode, but that's all I'm going to give you. The sponge has fungus, which is disgusting. But my thoughts on Fungus Among Us, it's um, not good. Yeah, it's not good. Just not good. It's not terrible. Far from terrible, actually. But it's just not a very well-made episode. It's disgusting. The premise felt lazy. It does not feel original. It doesn't feel creative. It just feels plain lazy just to slap it around all across our faces. That's how this episode felt to me, in my opinion. It's a mediocre episode. And um, the problem that this episode has is not only does the premise feel lazy, unoriginal, and disgusting, but the way everyone acted, the Bikini Bottom people, they were so mean-spirited. Of course, they just have to be complete jerks. The um, Everyone being covered in green, and then plus seeing them eat, not even noticing the fungus. Ah, this episode just has a lot of gross humor. And I know it's a cartoon, but I'm sorry. I just couldn't take it here. Not that I was cringing or anything. I'm just all like, okay, yeah, that's disgusting. Not only that, but it was just written so sloppy. Editing in this episode, too, was actually not that impressive. It felt a bit off, a bit choppy. I really didn't like how everyone was treating Spongebob, too. And especially when this disgusting episode gets to the ending... Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, okay. Spoiler alert. Just skip to here. But in the ending of this episode, Spongebob comes in his bubble. He's disgusting. There's fungus all around him. The angry customers at the Krusty Krab, they just start jumping on Spongebob. Okay, they were mad at Spongebob. But those jerks had to jump on his bubble. They are not only jerks, they are just idiots. They jump on his bubble and the bubble's moving. They just kept jumping and jumping. SpongeBob tells them stop and stop. But you know what happens? Because of them being jerks and idiots, the bubble pops. Fungus comes all over the Krusty Krab. Oh. Whew. Yes, they frustrated me. They pissed me off. <laughs> I'm sorry to shout, but... <laughs> oh, gosh. And plus, the fact that Gary ate the fungus was just so gross. <sighs> the ending was just pathetic. And fungus Among Us overall is just not a very good episode. But the redeeming qualities is that there are some funny moments and, you know, it's not the worst thing ever. It's a perfectly watchable episode if you could take the fungus, but there was just so many problems with this episode. It really is not good. It just isn't. <sighs> I'm going to give Fungus Among Us... A 5 out of 10. Stupid ass bikini bottom citizens. <sighs> Why? Subscribe to my channel, comment to give me your thoughts on the Spongebob episode, follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, like and share this video. I will always have TAGA POWER!